biblical research has moved into bold new territory in the last several decades, unearthing a wealth of ancient documents, arriving at a new understanding of elements like Q, the sectarian nature of early Christianity, the cynic roots of the great gospel teaching, and so on. An almost unprecedented critical dimension to the New Testament scholarship has emerged. And yet, the mythicist position continues to be vilified, disdained, dismissed. We would condemn any physis physicist, any anthropologist, any linguist, any mathematician, any scholar of any sort who professes to work in a field that makes even a partial bow to principles of logic and scientific research who yet ignored, reviled, condemned largely without examination a legitimate persisting persistent theory in his or her discipline. There are tremendous problems in New Testament research, problems that have been grappled with for generations and show no signs of getting closer to solution. Agreement is lacking on countless uh, topics. And yesterday's theories are being continually overturned. There is almost a civil war going on within the ranks of Jesus study. Why not give the mythicist option some serious consideration? Why not honestly evaluate it to see if it could provide some of the missing answers? Or if it turns out that the case is fatally flawed, then put it to rest once and for all. Doing that would require one essential thing, taking it seriously, approaching the subject having an open mind that the theory might have some merit. Sadly, that is the most difficult step and the one which most critics have had the greatest difficulty taking. It is all in the mindset, whether of the Christian believer whose confessional interests are overriding or of the professional scholar who could never consider their life's work might be fatally compromised. Okay. That will conclude part two of our series, the, in, the Evemerist versus the Mises position, which is posted on the Seekers of Unlimited Life Ministry page on Facebook. Like our page and follow us. Our motto is finding direction to fulfill our purpose by studying the Word of God. If you love the Lord and want to examine His Word more in depth, tune us in. We'd love to spend time with you as we seek to hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying together. Our contact information is the Seekers of Unlimited Life Ministry, 1337 South Millard Avenue, M-I-L-L-A-R-D. We're in Chicago, Illinois, 60623. You can call us at 773 Four seven four zero four five one, or drop us an email at the soul ministry at gmail dot com. That's T H E S O U L M I N I S T R Y, all one word, at gmail dot com. Thanks again. God loves you, and so do I.